The Origins of Fenrir Part 3 Odin is determined to have the wolf bound before he grows too large and strong to control, even though. At this point in the story, Fenrir has caused no trouble and is living peacefully with the gods. And sends a messenger, the god Skirner, to the dwarves at their fiery forges beneath Midgard asking them to make a fetter Fenrir will not be able to break. The dwarves send back the chain called Gleitner and Tangler made of six elements, a cat's footsteps, a woman's beard, mountain roots, sinews of a bear, the breath of a fish, and the spittle of a bird. Odin and the other gods then invite Fenrir to join them on the island of Lingvi in the middle of the great lake Emsvartnir to try his strength a third time with the new chain. Upon seeing the new fetter, Fenrir is suspicious because it looks like a woman's hair ribbon, and there could be no honor in breaking free from such a flimsy band. Fenrir suspects some trickery and tells the gods he will only allow himself to be bound if one of them agrees to put their hand in his mouth and keep it there throughout the ordeal. The gods hesitate to give answer, making Fenrir more suspicious, but his friend her volunteers, placing his hand in the wolf's mouth. Fenrir is bound and then tries to break free. The harder he struggles against the ribbon, however, the tighter it becomes until, realizing he has been trapped, he snaps his jaws closed, taking Tyre's hand. The wolf begins to howl in pain and rage, but the gods, except for her, only laugh at him and then force a great sword into his mouth. With the pommel in the lower jaw and point in the upper, keeping them apart so he cannot make any more noise or present any threat. They then fasten Gleipner to a large stone on the island which they anchor with an even larger stone. And leave Fenrir there as they return home. Fenrir's two loyal sons, Hadi and Skull, try to free him but nothing can break Gleipner. And they are caught in their attempts and imprisoned by Odin. Like and follow. For part four.